Welcome to Everyday Math, Homelink 3.4, Perimeter. Please take time to read the family note before beginning this homelink. Today's lesson was on perimeter. Students are to first estimate number one, which shape A or B, which polygon has the largest perimeter, larger perimeter of the two, excuse me. They can pick A or B. It is an estimation. Either answer will be fine, so A or B on the line. does not matter which one they put. They could also put the same if they'd like to. Check your estimate by measuring the perimeter of each polygon in centimeters. If you don't have a centimeter ruler, cut out the one at the bottom of this page. If the students don't have one, they can cut the centimeter ruler out here. To do this project, they can start in any corner of the shape, measure all the way across, back down, over, and up. Now, as they've done this, they'll find that A is 20 centimeters. B will be a little more difficult to measure, but they should measure every line. So they'll measure 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Each of those should be about one centimeter, which means B is also 20 centimeters. A, they'll find that each of these lines is roughly five. Five plus five is 10, plus 10 is 20. So that tells them that A and B are, have the same perimeter. The distance around a shape is the perimeter. Number three asks, what is the perimeter of each figure below? For three, for A, they have three plus five is eight, plus four is 12. And the next one, it says each side is 10 inches. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60, 60 centimeters. If you have any questions on this home link, please contact me by email or by phone. Thank you.